Hello, I am here. Guess what time it is, you guys? It is Wednesday night mocktail time. Now it's going back and forth on this pina colada, uh, you know, with coconut lime. Because really what I've got here is, it's like I've got the sweetened pina colada. So this is sweetened. But then I've got key lime, I've got coconut pineapple, right? And I don't, so those, that's a lot of flavor. So, because originally when I thought it was just pina colada, I was like, oh, I could just add like a little twist of mint and see kind of what that does. But I'm like, that's too much flavor, okay? That is, that was making me very uncomfortable with the amount of like flavor. And sometimes when you put too much flavor in a mocktail, it can start tasting like trash can punch, but not the fun kind of trash can punch. So I'm looking back here because I realized, I'm like, you know what? Let's actually measure this time. Cause usually here's the thing. The, the sad truth is, is that I really don't measure with these mocktails, not always. Sometimes if I'm unsure, I will measure, but a lot of times I'm not measuring. And also this time we have a fun aspect because I'm actually going to be using a blender. Now, if I, and, it, and it's Wednesday at a school night, I'm using a blender on a school night. Usually I would just do this thing, I, like either shake it together. Last time I think I forgot, I just start stirring aggressively in there. But I, I actually kind of, I'm very curious to see what this is gonna be like. So again, we're making this together for the very first time. I just wanna get everything together here. So I don't have my uh, classic apron on tonight because I was like, pina colada, I need a flower in my hair. I need, I need this right here, I need this dress on. So we can kind of take you to the tropics or whatever resort that you in your mind are going to. I even have this beautiful resort glass. I kind of like this kind of glass here. So I'm actually going to attempt, when I mean attempt, like measure this out. So I am using a, I think I'm using a half a cup, half a cup. Now someone asked me where I got these metal things at. I got them from Amazon. I actually like the metal because with the plastic, what happens is you wash it. Even if you don't put it in the dishwasher and you hand wash it, you're washing off that measurement. So you can't tell. So unless you're like, okay, you can always, I can tell a half cup and a, and a full cup, but sometimes a third and a fourth. I'm like, is that a third? Is that a fourth? But these are like engraved in here. So you can't help but um, see that. So I'm going to do, start off with a half a cup of the pina colada. And this is sweetened. This has some sugar in it. So we're going to put that in here. And I'm actually just going to use the blender tonight. I'm not going to stir aggressively then put in the blender. I'm not doing all that. Um, so that's that. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the coconut pineapple in there. Here. And we're going to kind of do equal parts of this right here. Right here. Equal parts. And then we're going to do the key line, but we're not doing equal parts of that key line. We are just gonna do like maybe, I'm just gonna use a little bit of here, maybe a quarter here. So you can kind of see, I just used a quarter in there. Okay, so we've got that in there. So that's not a lot, hmm, but I, cause I don't want the lime to take over. I might go ahead and put a little bit more of this one. Hang on, let me just try to make sure it, because it's gotta fit into that glass, so. Put that in here, okay. And then part of me is like, I have got this, where did I put my green sanding at? That's red sanding, I know I have green sanding. Oh, here it is, right here. I'll put a little bit of that in here. Just, just a shake or two, just kind of give it like a green, more of a green kind of, I don't know. It's not St. Patrick's, Patty's Day, but I thought, just maybe like a little bit more lime, just a little bit more lime. We're not this, and then I'm gonna go and get some lime juice to just, again, we're just doing a little squeak like that. And this is kind of starting to take on the hue of a, of a St. Patrick's Day drink, but that's okay. And now here's my secret weapon. I've got this dried fruit that I'm putting in there as well. So now, because I do the mise en place, I'm going to move these out of the way. These are going back into the, I'll put these out of the way so I can put them in the refrigerator easily. We've got that. Now, if I didn't have so many flavors going on, I would just go ahead and put that cherry in there and it would be all good in the head. I'm not going to do that. So this is what we're going to do. 
and uh, cover your ears, you guys. Here we go. So I'm going to put this on like, hmm, let's see. We'll see. Easy clean stir. Let's try that. Oh, you know what we should also try? We should try plugging it in, you guys. Yes, it's live. I am live right now. It's Wednesday. I'm kind of tired. Okay, here we go. One more time. Okay. Well, this kind of turned into a green foamy drink, and it's because I, you know, I went ahead and did the, uh, what do you call that? I went ahead and did the green sanding with it. So it is a little, it's a little green, but I kind of like it. I kind of think it gives it a little bit, again, it's not, it's not St. Patty's Day, but I don't think it's like a St. Patty's Day green. See here, move this out of the way. So here's what we've got right here. This is kind of like our, our pina colada. Now I don't have any, well, you know, that's not true. Hang on. I forgot. I actually do have, I actually do have some pineapple, some dried pineapple anyway. So let's go ahead and put that on the side. One of my things, and again, this is like the rule of being extra. One of the rules of being extra is never lose the opportunity to be extra, right? I know you're like, but, but what? But yeah. If there's ever an opportunity to be extra, please do it. Please take that opportunity to be extra. No shame in being extra. As long as the extraness is not like hurting anybody or taking away so much where it's like, because I mean, there's a fine line between being extra and stealing somebody's thunder. And we don't like to steal people's thunder. We don't want to do that. I'm saying that like that's the oath. When you, when you take the oath of being extra, you also have to take the responsibility of not kind of being someone who steals the thunder of others. We don't want to do that. Everybody's on a different journey. You know, I kind of want to, even though there's not any cherries and it could probably be too much, I do just for, just for, wait, wait. Why am I gonna put cherries on there when I have got a better, oper I'm going back and forth. Cause I have like, I have raspberries, but I kind of feel like maybe cherry, that tartness of this might actually go better. So this is good this a try. I'm not really using a formal cutting board tonight. Nothing is really formal tonight. I'm just literally trying to make it. So this, hang on, these cherries are really small. I got these at Aldi's and I've been looking for dried fruit because fresh fruit gets expensive, but also it can get kind of hard to manage. But dry fruit, one of the things I really appreciate about dry fruit, let's get a bigger piece of dry fruit, is that, you know, it's so easy to work with, right? Because it's already dry. Here we go. Okay, that is, are you gonna make it? Are you gonna make it? Are you gonna make it? Maybe put like one in the middle here. Not that piece, that piece is not big enough. This piece is big enough, so let's put this in the middle. This is a dry, these are dried cherries that I'm using right here. And then of course now I'm looking at them like, okay, I just need one more piece and we'll do that. So real cherries right now are not, I couldn't find any that were to me in my mind affordable. So that's why I kind of went the route of this here. Just so wanna, okay, eat that because, mm. Yeah, dried fruit, ma'am. We're sleeping on dried fruit. And again, there's lots of extra, extra things that I could be doing with this. I'm gonna present this to you. And, uh, oh wow, now here's one thing though about dried fruit. It is kind of stuck in the bottom here. So I'm gonna have to like wash that out, which is fine, it's totally fine, but, um. Yeah, so here you go. Here is my pina colada, the coconut um, pina colada. With, no, the pina colada with co co coconut lime. And then I'm gonna take a little sip. This is really good. 
and I'll tell you what makes it good even though it looks green and you're like, what is this? What in the monster mash is this? What makes it really good is like all the flavors like kind of uh, moving together and that and the pine, the dried pineapple gives it like a, cause this, whoops, this is sweetened, but the dried pineapple gives it this extra layer of sweet, like this, this natural layer of sweetness that this, you know, doesn't have. Like it's, it's okay in a pinch, but you can tell you're like, oh, it's a flavor, but this actually tastes like pineapple. So that really helps. Thank you guys so much for your support. This is a very short live tonight because um, I, you, I was fighting for my life um, in, the other, in the other live because I was running late and I did a macaroni and cheese with green pepper uh, casserole and um, that, you know, I'll be eating on for the rest of the week or whatever. And I'll take a picture of it because I've, I've taken pictures of it before, like in different iterations, but to kind of, kind of cook it live and to kind of go through the steps. And then I was kind of like, you know, all over the place and really distracted. And, you know, that just it just goes to show me why I've got to kind of have the oven on at seven o'clock instead of having, you know, I didn't get to start until closer to like 745, I think. But luckily I had already eaten. So it wasn't like a big deal because I had kind of already eaten because I'm trying to eat, eat earlier because I'm back on a fitness journey because as I said, I lost 50 pounds in the pandemic. And then technically I had closer to 75 pounds to lose, but I was like, I'm just trying to live. So now I'm kind of on, now I've got 18 more pounds to lose. So that's kind of what I'm on. And it's not even about, you know, not feeling body positive. It's more about just like being able to move better. I need to, you know, cause I, I'm pretty active. And so the extra weight that I have, I can't run as fast and I want to run for as long as I can. And I want to be able to, you know, work out for as long as I can and the extra weight on me because I'm five foot three. It's just not, I mean, I can't, there's just a lot of things I can't do um, at this weight that I can do like at, at a smaller weight. And that makes me sad because I really do enjoy um, eating certain foods that, you know, and again, it's totally fine and whatever. I'll still eat those foods. I just will not eat as much of those really, really super yummy foods. So um, anyways, I'm not going to be cooking um, tomorrow or Friday. I probably will come back this weekend to cook. It's a lot because we I've got like a birthday, Mother's Day, a graduation party. There's a lot going on this weekend, but I am going to carve out that time to cook. And I'm thinking about doing like, because I did, I did like breakfast last week, but I think what I want to do is I want to do pizza. Like I want to make these individual pizzas and maybe I'll do some veg prep and then take pictures of the, what the pizza looks like. It just depends. Um, a lot going on and a lot of good things are kind of like starting to roll out again. And so really excited for that. And I can't wait to kind of tell you guys more. Okay. Have a great night and I'll talk to you soon.